Hello everyone, welcome to Inkpot. I'm Shiji Mohan. Exam days are very near and to help you score well, I'm here today with a video that contains questions and answers from all the five sections of a very important poem that is a wasteland. Now, one of the reasons why the wasteland is considered so difficult is because of its literary allusions, references, quotations and so on. So ensure you prepare all the questions and answers that are included in this video. I also know that many among you are waiting eagerly for the section wise summary and explanation which I'll be working on it in the days ahead. So all the aspirants out there, here we go. Who called the wasteland a music of ideas? I. A. Richards and he mentioned it in his work Principles of Literary Criticism. The epigraph of the wasteland is a quotation from a well-known Latin prose work, Satyricon by Petronius. And the epigraph is written in both Greek and Latin and it relates to Sibyl. And the lines are, For once I myself saw with my own the Sibyl at Cume hanging in a cage. And when the boy said to her, Sibyl, what do you want? She replied, I want to die. Sibyl is a prophetess who asked Apollo for eternal life but neglected to ask for eternal youth which is why she wants to die. Where was the original epigraph that Elit had chosen for the poem from? Conrad's Heart of Darkness. The first epigraph Elit designated to the poem came from Conrad's Heart of Darkness. However, Ezra Pound did not believe Conrad was worthy of the citation so Elit changed it. Which battle did Stetson supposedly participate in? Miley. In the section Burial of the Dead, the speaker claims that he saw someone named Stetson he knew from an ancient war. The title A Game of Chess alludes to Thomas Middleton's plays A Game at Chess and Women Beware Women. A Game of Chess is the second section of the Wasteland and the themes are Love and Sexuality. The first line of A Game of Chess is an allusion to a line from which Shakespearean play? Antony and Cleopatra. It begins with a description of a decorated room in which a woman is sitting on a chair. And in Antony and Cleopatra, Enobarbus describes Cleopatra as the bar she sat in like a burnished throne. And in A Game of Chess, it is the chair she sat in like a burnished throne. The myth of Philomela in a game of chess is taken from Ovid's Metamorphoses. One of the paintings in the room depicts the rape of Philomela, a scene taken from Ovid's Metamorphoses. Philomela is a mythical heroine raped by her brother-in-law King Tereus, the barbarous king. The Sylvan scene in a game of chess is an allusion to John Milton's Paradise Lost Transformation of Philomela into a Nightingale takes place in Sylvan Scene. The culminating line of the section A Game of Chess, Good Night Ladies, Good Night Sweet Ladies, Good Night, Good Night, is a reference to Ophelia's monologue in Shakespeare's Hamlet. The words by Ophelia given shortly before she drowns herself. Which is the most organized and structured section of the wasteland? Death by water. And it is the shortest section which consists of eight lines with four pairs of rhyming couplets. And the rhyme scheme is A, B, C, B, D, E, F, E. The section death by water describes the death by drowning of someone who was once handsome and tall as you. Who was he? Phlebas. The line, the ivory men make company between us, which was deleted from the final version of the poem. From the second section, a game of chess was taken out at whose suggestion? Vivian Elliot, wife of T.S. Eliot. The opening line of the poem, The Wasteland, April is a cruelest month, is an allusion to a quote from Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales. Who was the Miglia Fabro to whom the wasteland was dedicated? Ezra Pound. Which popular nursery rhyme is mentioned at the end of the wasteland? London Bridge is falling down. 
and it shows the decay and destruction of civilizations. A character from Greek myth who was changed from a man to a woman, Tiresias. Tiresias is a blind soothsayer of Thebes who appears in the section, the fire sermon, which is the longest section of the wasteland. And Tiresias is a hermaphrodite and an old man with wrinkled female breasts. Who is throbbing between two lives? Tiresias. The famous line Hieronimo is mad again in the wasteland is a Spanish tragedy by Thomas Kitt. And the line appears in the last section, What the Thunder Said. Those were pearls which were his eyes in the wasteland is a quote from Shakespeare's The Tempest. Before it was deleted, the line, get me a woman, I said, you are too drunk, she said, was part of which section of the poem? Burial of the Dead. What are the names of the married couple mentioned in the section, a game of chess? Albert and Lil. Elit uses the line, sweet themes, run softly till I end my song in the section, the fire sermon. This quotation is from Spencer's Prothalamian. In the fire sermon, a city typist describes an experience of casual sex in a bedsit with whom? A young clerk. Elit stated that his references to certain vegetation ceremonies were influences that came from the book The Golden Buff by James Fraser. Elid describes vividly listening to the pleasant whining of a mandolin while sitting in a pub in a major city street named Lower Thames Street. When lovely woman stoops to folly is an allusion to Oliver Goldsmith's novel The Wicker of Wakefield and the line occurs in The Fire Sermon. The opening stanza of the final section, What the Thunder Said, recalls which event in the Bible? Resurrection of Jesus Christ and What the Thunder Said is a concluding section. Who is the subject of the long discussion which begins section 5, What the Thunder Said? Jesus Christ. In the penultimate line of What the Thunder Said, Elit uses three Sanskrit words to replicate the sound of thunder over the river. They are Datta, Dayadvam, Damyada. What do they mean? Give, sympathize, control. And the source of the phrase is Brihadaranyaka Upanishad. The line, Oh, keep the dog far hence, that's friend to men, in burial of the dead, alludes to John Webster's play The White Devil and in The White Devil the line goes like but keep the wool far thence that's for to men. What is that noise the wind under the door? What is that noise now? What is the wind doing? Nothing again nothing. These lines from the section A Game of Chess allude to John Webster's The Devil's Law Case and in the devil's law case, the line is, is the wind in that door still? The final words, O Lord, thou pluckest me out of the section, the fire sermon, represent a Christian illusion, which is a reference from Confessions of St. Augustine. And the lines are, to Carthage then I came, burning, 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 burning. O Lord, thou pluckest me out, O Lord, thou pluckest burning. And the line, burning, 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 is an allusion to the Buddhist fire sermon. Carthage is an ancient city in modern-day Tunisia. In the fire sermon, Ailey takes a song from Wagner's opera, Gotter Damarang, and the lines begin with, The river sweats oil and tar, and ends with Wagner's own version, Walala, Lelala. And the lines describe the moral and spiritual pollution of the modern world. The lines, who are those hooded hordes swarming over endless plains from the section, what the thunder said, is an allusion to an essay, The Brothers Karamazov or The Downfall of Europe, written by Herman Hesse. 
and the lines refer to rude uneducated and filthy people who pollute the modern world and the lines also refer to the troops of first world war sweeping across europe and destroying everything but at my back from time to time i hear the sound of horns and motors allude to andrew marvels to his coy mistress and these are the lines taken from the section the fire sermon and in to his coy mistress the lines are but at my back i always hear time's winged chariot hurrying here the sound of horns and motors which i bring sweeney to mrs potter in the spring these lines from the fire sermon directly allude to a play called parliament of bees by john day and the parliament of bees describes the tale of actaeon and diana in the fire sermon ele talks about a scene from the life of queen elizabeth 1 and a lover lord robert the earl of leicester from which book is it taken the reign of elizabeth which is written by james anthony froude and it is a famous biography of the queen ganga was sunken and the limp leaves waited for rain while the black clouds gathered far distant over himavant these are the lines from the section what the thunder said one of the lines in the fire sermon is in french which when translated is and all oh, those children's voices singing in the dome is taken from a work by a french poet named paul verlaine and it is about a knight named parsifal and it is a sonnet describing hero's successful quest for the holy grail the final words of the wasteland which is repeated three times are in sanskrit what are they shanti 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 that's all about the five sections of the wasteland you can also watch important facts of ts eliot and the wasteland and also quick summary with questions and answers of the first section that is a burial of the dead you can go to this link that has been displayed over here and also make sure that you subscribe to my channel to get more videos thanks for watching